Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I will show you how you can integrate Pipedrive with Xero. First of all, we have to create ourselves an account at pipedrive.com and we want to go straight to our workspace that uh, Pipedrive provides for us. Once we are here at uh, our workspace, we want to go to the uh, top right corner uh, where our initials are or the avatar and we want to go to the tools and integrations. As you can see, there are some integrations already waiting for us, uh, MailChimp, Slack and so on, uh, but there is no Xero. So we can go and uh, pick the last option and marketplace apps and we can go to marketplace. Now we can try and find uh, Xero here. As you can see, we found it and you can just install it now and make this uh, make this integration work. The other way around, it's through automate.io. Uh, I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. Uh, once we're at automate.io, we want to go to the top corner uh, where integrations are and click on integrations and move to the, to the bottom left part and see all categories. Now we can pick from 200 or more but we are already interested only in two, but we start with pipe drive. We click on pipe drive at uh, starter. And the second one, uh, the opposite one is zero. We pick zero. And uh, there are already some integrations uh, made for us, but if we can't pick the one that suits us, we can just keep scrolling down and we can create our own integration. Uh, the uh, one thing you have to remember on the left side, uh, underneath the triggers, there should be pipe drive as a starter or starter up. So let's go with the pipe drive, the first one, and underneath the action, but sometimes they got mixed up, uh, there should be a zero. So let's go with the first one as well don't go uh, like uh, zero here and pipe drive here on the opposite side. Uh, now what we want to do, uh, we want to uh, hit try it now button and basically sign in to the automate.io and finish our integrations. Or we can use zapier.com uh, which works very very similarly. Uh, we want to create ourselves an account here as well and we want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a zap zaps uh, stands for integrations we can name them or we can go straight uh, to the integration a trigger or a trigger is an event that starts your zap there should be once again pipe drive first uh, so as you can see it works quite similar and now we want to go to, let's, go, let's say first one, but it's completely up to you. Uh, and uh, sign in to the account that you created or recreated and hit continue. Now we, can, uh, now we can test our trigger. On the second action, as you probably thought, it's a zero. We also have to choose an event, like for example, create a bill, continue. And the last thing is uh, just to sign in to Xero and that's about it. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you on the next video.